What's good everyone, it's time back with another video and today is day two of trying to get Kyrie like handles. Yesterday we started a 14 day mission to improve our handles and get the ball on a string like Kyrie Irving. After the first training session, I realized that this might be harder than I thought. I was out of shape and struggling, especially because I'm using a weighted ball. But doing the ball workout with the heavy ball. If you take it in, I'm already doing a workout with just the basketball drills alone. But now it's weighted. My body is very sore, tired, and weak after day one let's see how day two goes i was going to the gym late so i want to waste no time and get there now because in the afternoon the gym will get really packed i got straight to work i really needed to stretch because like i said i was sore while i was stretching i was being watched so the story is, I was approached by a female that ain't all the way there. If you get it, you get it. But anyways, she most definitely understands and knows what she is doing. She asked me what I'm doing. I said working out and she said, can I watch? I clearly said no and she said why. I then explained how that it is weird as fuck. And she still thought it was a good idea to still do it. I know I'm being watched right here because I can see her staring at me and look me dead in my eye. Not even taking a moment to blink or try not to make it obvious at least. She's just watching my booty be stretched out right now. Until my friend comes and starts cussing and explaining how weird that is. <laughs> to show him that he literally took the words from my body and said them for me thank you oh my god i start off today's drill with figure eights and stationary ball handling i know a lot of people say that stationary ball handling is a very level one and rookie drill but i'm doing it weighted so that rookie drill became a pro drill i'm doing different variations i'm doing between the legs a regular crossover and behind the back this is just a 30 minute ball handling workout and i try to switch up every drill every now and then targeting different things that i'm working on today's target is strength and that's where you have to stay low for almost majority of the game you get low on defense, offense, and even just running or standing dribbling. We have to be comfortable with staying low. That's why I'm doing stationary ball handling to start because you have to be low for the whole drill. We are building a good foundation so we can build off of that. I'm also focused on good posture and making sure I'm not looking down too much. There's nothing on the floor. I don't need you guys practicing that. You need to be able to see the court, pass through the open teammate, and look at the scoreboard. I'm making sure to try and include footwork drills in these workouts. The better I make my feet, the better I become. These line step overs make you have to focus on two things at once. Make you have to focus on dribbling and performing good footwork. At first, these felt weird as hell because you're trying to focus on two things at once, which is why this is the pro drill. In a game, you have to focus on a bunch of different things going on. The clock, defenders, coaches, fans, gym conditions. So this becomes a mind workout now. You're training your mind to do multiple things at once and do it at a high level while being under stress. <laughs> Like you guys saw in the first video, the Rock Series is the highlight of this workout series. I fully believe in this drill. This drill has helped me a lot. I'm already a pretty good ball handler just because of this drill. It basically works on everything. It gets your handles tight. You're working on different combos, different moves. You're working on control, footwork. So I fully believe that this drill can help me get the ball on the string like Kyrie. Of course, this is not the only drill that will help. I have created a whole workout plan. There's a bunch of stuff that we need, but this will help us build a good foundation and help us build off of it this is stage one of the knee recovery my knees have been feeling brittle so this is a very important part in this journey because i cannot complete this series if i do not work on my knees me doing this every day consistently build a good habit i can't be doing stuff half ass i need to do it fully or not do it at all some of you guys want to be a doctor but don't want to go to school to become a doctor some of you guys want to become a dentist but don't want to go to school to become a dentist we don't want to do the boring stuff even though it could benefit us in the future and i don't want to be like that so that's why i'm doing a knee recovery workout every single day with this ball handling and training
the goal is to get NBA level hand. So if I want to do that, I need to hit the weight room. I'm also trying to achieve two things at once. Actually, three things at once. Kyrie like handles, better knees, and get stronger. The stronger I become, the better I become. The faster I become, the better I become. Okay? You guys need to understand, all of this plays a role. Today is a chest day, so I'm doing push-ups and dumbbell press. I wanted to do more because I usually like to do three workouts each time I hit the gym, but the gym was closing soon and I also needed to go soon. Thank <laughs> you. 